Record-breaking wildfires in back-to-back -back years. What is behind this sudden surge in super fires? Well, it turns out it is more than just the drought. News 13's Alex Goldsmith has more on that from the Newsplex. Dick, yes, dry conditions do play a role in recent wildfires that have burned acreage in the six figures. But experts say past human interference is catching up with us. They burn hot, they burn fast, and they burn wide. Last year's Los Conchas fire and this year's Whitewater Baldy Complex have scorched a combined 300,000 acres of our state. The drought partly to blame. But state forestry spokesperson Dan Ware says the bigger problem comes from a firefighting policy that was in place for decades. Before humans, wildfires were natural and needed to periodically regenerate the forest. That changed. All of the fires were something that needed to be put out. And as a result, in some areas, we get a lot of overgrowth because we're not letting nature take its course. Instead of these repeated burns that we would have seen historically that were just low intensity, now you're seeing something larger. And these more intense fires affect the forest very differently. Under the pine, for example, um, has a hard time regenerating in a high intensity fire. Fire policy has changed dramatically since then, but some of that buildup is still out there. And Ware says areas that haven't burned as recently, like the Zuni Mountains and Farmington area, are due for a cleanup. You've got a lot of that overgrowth and it's drying out right now and so we're really looking to those parts of the state as very potentially very active for the rest of our fire season. Believe it or not we're actually way down in both acreage and sheer number of fires on state and private lands this year compared to last where credits a big reduction in human started fires for that shift. Back to you, Dick. All right, Alex, but the thing about it is we are just now entering the peak fire season. Historical data shows that large wildfires are more than twice as likely to occur in June as they are in May.